Headed into famous foods. The kids got their pizza. Now it's our turn to eat something. We've been here before, but never with the kids. Nice mural on the wall. It's like this side is closed. We're gonna head over to this kiosk and order us some food. We walked through here a little earlier, but the kids want a pizza, so we went and got them fed first. Most people do the tacos. Yeah, it's three of them. We'll be out here fighting. We can do the rice bowl. That's like the barbecue style. That's roast duck. Yeah, whatever. How kind of did for? This one. Okay. What else? Let's do the pork and shrimp. All right, what are we getting ready to tear into? I think this is the Fubu Shack char siu bowl. I think that's pork. And then the, I forget the name of the dumpling place, but these are pork and shrimp. Like what? It's got a little bit of, of spice, but it's like sour, like a vinegar. Oh my god. Char siu, so that's pork. Though, but it. $17 for this? No. I wouldn't say it's worth it, but. No? Pretty good, though. That tiger sugar waiting for our order. Jelly. He said it comes with mango jelly right now and boba oolong. And that came up to about 20 bucks with a tip. So, oh no. Yeah, 20 bucks with a tip. So, pretty pricey. We'll see how it tastes. Let's see on the right is the passion fruit. And he said it's mango jelly and boba. And then on the left is the 
It's like black tea, coffee, boba, something. Go ahead and knock yourself out. Oh, it's five o'clock. I don't think it said I could adjust the sweetness, but how is it as far as the flavor? It's real sweet. Something in there is crunchy. Maybe it's is, a jelly. What else is in there? Mango jelly and passion fruit, or maybe it's uh, the, the passion fruit seeds. That's Definitely tastes like coffee. And there's small and large bowl in there, like some sort of brown sugar or something. This one's not that sweet.